Hi, my name is Alicia Herring, and I would like to show you a tool available in Smart Notebook that you can use in several different ways in your classroom. The Activity Builder is located in the gray toolbar and looks like a puzzle piece. To use this tool in Smart Notebook, you need to first insert an object onto your page. To do this, I will go to the top toolbar and select Shapes. Whichever shape you choose, you just click on it, wherever you want it on your page, and make it the size that you would like. Once it's the size you would like, you can fill it with a color. Go back to your Select tool, and I'm going to title this Page Insects. Now, to move my word, I could have it in my box, or I could have it at the top, wherever you would like. You just click on it. If you do not want an object to move, you have the option to lock it in place. So it will stay and the students will not be able to move your words around. I have a title and I have an object. I'm going to go to my photo gallery and I'm going to add some pictures of insects. So I will type insects into my search bar, hit enter. And now you see insects. Let's choose an ant. And then I want a picture that is not an insect. So let's type in animals. And find an animal that is not an insect. You also can resize your pictures. Now that we have pictures and an object, to use our Activity Builder, we need to select which one we want to accept and reject our pictures. I'm going to select the square, and when you see this dotted square around it, you are ready to use the Activity Builder. So simply click on your puzzle piece, and you have the option to edit. When it's shaded with the lines, you know you are ready. To make it easier, to choose which pictures you want the square to accept and which ones you want it to reject, it is best to uncheck the Auto Hide button. This allows you to see both boxes and move over to your page. You, cl you click on your picture. We want it to accept the ant because the ant is an insect, so we move it to our Accept box. And now you can see the ant is in Accept These Objects. We want it to reject the alligator, so we click on it, move it over to the reject, and now our alligator is in reject these objects. You have a few options in the settings tab at the top of how you want your picture to be accepted or rejected. So when your picture is moved into the object, it can fade out, fly out, snap to the center, or spin. I'm going to leave it, leave it on Fade Out. When a picture is rejected, it can have no effect or bounce back. We're going to leave it as Bounce Back. Now we click Done. And then Auto Hide. When you click back on your page, you are ready to see if your Activity Builder is working. So the students would click on which picture they think is an insect. If they are right, the picture will disappear. If they are wrong when they move it into the, into the square, then the picture will bounce back. I hope you can see how this can be used in your classroom for many different areas and also as an interactive tool to help your students learn. Thank you.